Today we're going to be showing the process of how to unstretch a canvas. Sometimes, uh, when we have to ship a canvas internationally, bidders will ask us to remove a canvas from a stretcher. There are a few tips and tricks to use when you're doing this. Um, in the first uh, example, we'll show you how we actually removed a, a canvas from a stretcher uh, that was being shipped uh, to Eastern Europe. Uh, the shipping expenses on the canvas would have been several thousand dollars. By rolling the canvas uh, in the correct way, we were able to ship it out for a few hundred dollars. Um, in this uh, example, what you're seeing is us actually removing the canvas from the stretcher, and it was somewhat tedious in that we had to remove um, hundreds of staples. Uh, typically, on a contemporary canvas, the, the canvas will be stapled to the back of the stretcher. When you're removing a canvas from a stretcher, one of the things you want to look at first is the painted surface. If the painted surface has a heavy impasto, is a thick surface, you want to be confident that you'll be able to roll it. Chances are, if it's an older, thick surface, you won't be able to roll that canvas, and there's no point in taking it off the stretcher. In the prior video, we showed you um, an example of us taking the staples out of a canvas, and that's how you're going to find many contemporary works of art. We did it as well on this painting. Occasionally what you'll see, especially on older paintings, is you'll see that the canvas has been nailed into the side of the stretcher. Um, here you can see there are two ways to do this. Um, you can try to pull the canvas away from the nail head. That can cause the canvas to tear. The other approach is to use nail snips. Now you don't want to snip through the nail, but they're sharp enough to be able to get you down in there and get a grip under the head of the nail and pull it out just enough so you can pull the whole thing out without snapping the nail. There's no hard and fast rules in terms of how to remove a canvas from a stretcher. There's just lots of things to consider and lots of ideas that you might find helpful. Here what we've done is we've removed all of the staples from the stretcher. Um, typically you want to leave it down and you see we've laid a sheet of glassine down below it. This is a not an expensive work of art. I recommend you experiment on a, a few flea market finds. When you're removing a canvas from the stretcher, I recommend uh, electronic pliers. These are like needle nose pliers, except they have a spring in them, so you're not constantly opening uh, your needle nose pliers back up, and you can move pretty quickly with these. The other thing I like about them is um, they're pretty pretty sharp, but they're also um, they're blunted enough that you're typically not going to tear a canvas. In the video we showed you. Um, us taking a stretcher, all of these staples out of the stretcher. Uh, here we've done this already, and what you can see happening, we've done it on glassine, and I recommend laying a sheet of glassine down before you start, and then we can lift the stretcher right out. And then what we do is you want to try to relax the canvas a little bit. And if you work from the edges, typically it will relax fairly quickly. Um, you may consider putting some um, bean bags on it overnight. If it doesn't relax easily, you can get some bean bags um, and simply lay those on the corners overnight and get it to settle down a little bit. Once you have the canvas relaxed at the edges, you can take a thick cardboard tube. This is a little large for this canvas, but for this demonstration it'll work. And lay it across the bottom. And then you can start the process, you can pick up the glass again and start the process of rolling the canvas. And the glassine allows you to, it protects the canvas, but it also allows you to see what's happening underneath. Of course, um, you always run the risk of cracking the paint, uh, but if you do it slowly and the canvas is the right kind of canvas, it shouldn't crack the paint. And I'm just rolling this now up. And this now becomes much easier to shift and much more economical to ship. And I'll just show you what the canvas will look like on the other side, and you can see that we didn't damage it. So when it's received, um, if you're shipping it, they'll have a canvas that can be restretched again that hasn't been damaged.